Thank you very much sir for allowing me. Uh, sir, my question is, uh, due to an uh, intolerant, violent community uh, and growing its population, uh, it seems that the future of our nation will be in a civil war or a massacre depends on the uni uh, unity of indigenous population. Can population control will be a reali reality, number one? And number two, if it can be, will it be effective keeping in view the nature of the particular community. So, uh, be very careful about the language you employ. And I say this because I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for every person who bats for this particular identity and I don't want you to get into trouble. Replace the word with mindset. That's one. First suggestion coming from a lawyer. Take it. Two. Um, I'm not sure the population control bill may be entirely effective, but chara kya bacha hai paas? What is the other option that you have? In a democracy which is ruled by a constitution, you have to go by constitutional mechanisms. My only hunch is that the population control bill will be followed by the Hindus and not followed by the others. And therefore it will have the exact opposite consequence. Because you are more law abiding or at least you are law fearing. And the state has more guts to come after Hindus than anybody else. Regardless of whoever is in power, that has not made a difference. Which means that you are back to square one. There is a law against possession of illegal weapons. Has that prevented certain people from having more weapons than the others? It hasn't. So those who follow the law will continue to follow the law. And those who don't care for it will never care for it. I don't know how that works. I'm not sure the answer lies entirely in the realm of legal mechanisms or let's say in the realm of law and policy making. Maybe the society will have to consider certain uh, lawful and constitutional mechanisms, which means you end up having to compete in terms of producing more children. And that suggestion had come from someone who had spoken in Hindi, he would have been accused of being a dinosaur who doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, it's coming from a person who is speaking in chaste English. Take it. Because that seems to be a language that finds universal acceptance, unfortunately, in this country. So accept it. And it goes back to the fundamental point of Hindu masculinity. Jai Shri Ram.